workouts. This morning soap comes from Mickey Lee Soapworks. The name of this one here is the uh, Drunken Goat. So what it looks like on the inside. It's a fairly firm soap. And starts out with about four ounces in there. <laughs> Got the Allen block complete with rubber band. Unscented witch hazel methylated. This being Monday the 13th. Looks like it's going to be Spring Hill Jack Day. Something to help out with it being on a Monday. I've got the uh, <clears throat> lather whipped up here with a uh, bolt from the uh, a brush from the stink of goat. It's got a, a badger knot in it. This one here is the uh, walnut cherry bolt. It whipped up pretty, uh, pretty thick. Got quite a bit whipped up there. Shaver of the day is a single edge shaver. It's an Ever Ready. It has a gem blade in it. Don't know if you can see that blade up in there or not. And it's a uh, Teflon coated. Before we put a hot towel to the face, we're going to get started with the uh, pre-shave soap here. I have been wanting to uh, shave with this shaver for a while. Just trying to work it into the grand scheme of things. Last time I checked, the weather could be interesting today. I can't remember if it's either 70 or 80 percent chance of rain today, so it could be interesting. <laughs> All right. I mean, this lather did whip up pretty big. I think I'm trying to get some kind of eyelash in my eyeball there. Something's bugging it, that's for sure. The scent, I'll, I'll just have the prof profile down below. It's better that way. <laughs> There's no telling sometimes what my nose picks up and I look at the scent profile. I'm like, it's different than what I might what my nose is picking up, but it that's my nose. And for me, I expect it to be sometimes a little off, different than what my nose is picking up versus the scent profile. For me, these shavers are mighty fine shavers. Uh, this one here being a Teflon coated blade, gives me pretty good shaves. I also have uh, Treat Supers that do pretty well for me. The um, Pile carbons, though, um, I shave with them, but they're not the smoothest shaving blades. I was watching uh, Clash's um, video with his uh, gym uh, featherweight. And he was talking about the difficulties that they have over there in getting uh, single edge blades like this. That there's not much in the way of choices as well as uh, 
places just to go get them, which is uh, it's kind of a strange thing. For instance, like for instance, palm olive soap over there, relatively easy to find. Over here, yeah, the, about the only place you're going to find them is online. Got a friend flying around in here. The uh, as it goes for single edge blades, there's uh, most of the time not always. You can watch in this walk into CVS pharmacy, and uh, they'll have uh, some single edge blades there, and they'll be uh, depending on how old their stock is. Some of them will still say American Safety Razor on them. This is going to be a really easy going shave. There's still plenty to be taken off there. It's not a real aggressive shaver. And my friend's still flying around. <laughs> a little bit of a distraction, huh? <laughs> It is a, <clears throat> excuse me, but it to me is just really amazing how how different from one country to the next when things can be so common in one country and not so common in another. And it's just like, for instance, just razor blades, soap, shaving soap. You wouldn't think it'd be that much of a difference. I mean, considering we still have palm olive dish soap so you would think you know why not the shaving soap it's been a while since I looked but I know at one point in time palm olive bath soap was readily available too I don't know. For me, sometimes it just doesn't make any sense why it's like that. Because I know it'd be nice to be able to walk in and, for instance, get a tub of Wilkinson Swords shaving soap or, you know, whatever the case might be, something like that. Most of the places that I've been to, I guess you might say that would be common in the area in between Target and Walmart, you would find. Uh, the usuals. The only thing that might be different because not even all the Walmarts will have Vanderhagen. You'll find Cremo and only a few of the grocery stores, even though it's the same chain, depending on the location you might find you might find some Vanderhagen and or you might be able to find some uh, Williams mug soap, but the outside of that, it's the canned goo stuff. That's about all you're going to find. It's kind of a shame. Darn near everything um, you need, you have, pretty much have to order it online. Not too much of a selection if you're not using stuff that can. And single edge blades, like I say, you know, there's only a few pharmacies that'll carry it. Most other places don't carry single edge blades, much less double edge. I mean, Walgreens is pretty uh, can't miss. Sometimes you walk in there and they'll have it. It seems like most of the time right around the holidays it seems like the time about they'll carry something like that and 
then it'll, it'll disappear again. CVS will have, <coughs> excuse me, their brand name double edge uh, blades in there. I need to look again because they've changed the packaging to make sure that where they're coming from. Because they might be coming from uh, Vietnam or Korea, one of the two. In other words, Dorco blades. But at least Walmart will try to carry some stuff. I mean, it's, like I say, it's not always in stock. Sometimes they, when they run out, it takes them a moment or two to restock for whatever the reason is. Been kind of interested just to, just to look at the uh, Vander Hagen's uh, double-edged safety razor. Looks like a wee sheet to me. And, um, Does it kind of make you wonder if it's more or less the same shaver or not? It runs in between seventeen and eighteen dollars. Comes with a, a little sample size of the uh, shave butter and five blades. So overall, that's a you know pretty good price because the uh, the blades usually run about two dollars and eighty eight cents, which I think is way too much for those blades. But um. Still got some right there. That's um, for the shaver and five blades, whether you like the blades or not. Eighteen dollars is not too terribly a bad price for a shaver. Got dry skin right up in there, making my eyebrow itch. This was a pretty smooth shave. I don't expect to hear much from the Allen Block. I think it's just about time to take the rubber band off. Still got a little ways to go, but... Got a little bit of stinging right there. This is a really smooth shave. Like I say, I, I really enjoy shaving with these. I get, it's not the close, it's not a uh, BBS by any means, but it's a very close, comfortable shave. Definitely sociably acceptable. I'm not gonna see my whiskers. I can still feel them, but they're, you know, they're pretty small, short. It'll be fine with <laughs> witch hazel. I thought the Spring Hill Jack was uh, being Monday, Monday the 13th instead of Friday the 13th, that's Monday the 13th. And the way things have been at work here lately electronically with uh, the systems, matter of fact, in other words, mine, it's been trying to do an update, the computer's been trying to do an update and it's not wanting to do, do it and they can't seem to figure out exactly how to get it to do the update without what they refer to as re-imaging the uh, computer. In other words, reinstalling all the software. Yeah, that's a, for me, that's pretty much a, a day's loss. So at some point in time when I take a day off and when they're available, in other words, getting it to uh, match up, I've got to give them my computer so they can get something done with it. Because right now, it, it's not working all that great. I can make it do most of the time, but you can usually tell there's issues. Some of the paperwork I'm turning in. This is great stuff. I sure am glad I got this. I'm a coffee drinker, and uh, and you can definitely... I, I smell coffee. That's what I smell. It says... Uh, in case you didn't see it, it says Spring Hill Jack, uh, bold caffeinated aftershave, and uh, it uh, oh, it smells great. Need some more on there. This is uh, my kind of aftershave. Going to be smelling good this morning. A 
That was a really nice shave, though. I mean, this for me, <clears throat> it's a very easy going shave. You can shave with uh, these kind of shavers all the time. No nicks, cuts, weepers, anything of the sort, no irritation. Like I said, there's every, I think, uh, in case you have never seen what the, uh, there's the blade there. And on the back side, that's what it looks like. It says stainless on there. And the, uh, that's what it looks on the inside. Really nice shaver. This one's probably where I spent the, uh, uh, spend a wee bit more money than what I normally would spend on a uh, single edge shaver. Paid twenty five dollars for this one here, but it's in pretty good shape though. Still got most of its shine. They polished it up pretty nice. Just a really nice everyday shaver would be. Yeah, this is great. Sure, I'm glad I got that one in because that's been sitting over here for a while waiting. It's about my like my. Uh, Injector, it's been primed and ready to go, just waiting for the right moment to get it worked in. I had a great shave. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.